recruiter came to my front door like Nick Saban. He was like, hey, man. He like, Who this dude is? <laughs> they were like, your son. He real small and I, so I'm telling you, they like, everybody think the military should be the plan B or the plan C. It really should be the plan A. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Horror Stories. It's your boy, Weezy F, baby. Please say the F, and it stands for phenomenal. I still don't understand how you put that in there, but... You, that. you that nigga, you say what you want. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> boy, be Jack, Jack boy, St. Me, my, uh... Personal Instagram, underscore DJ. Thank you. It's your boy, Sniper Gang, Baby Mama Trauma. We in this bitch, man. Hi, it's your boy, Peter Parker, your friend and neighborhood author. Alabaster, Alabama, man. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Hey, man, tell the people who you are if they don't know you, man. Introduce yourself. All right, Peter Parker, your friend and neighborhood author. Yeah, man. Yeah, just from Alabama, author. You know, do a lot. Do a lot. What does a lot consist of? Oh, uh, well, now I'm finna get a kid's campaign off and get shoot a movie. Um, so I had moved back to Alabama in like 2016, 2017. Put a book out in 17 mm -hmm. and just the head down grinding uh, until we get to this point right now. So uh, when you left, when you went? I was in the military. I wrote, okay. my book, I wrote, uh, wrote a book in Afghanistan. Oh, so that was, that's kind of, um, you know, what helped me get out once I got back and, you know, do what I've been doing the last five to seven years. Heard the military treat you right, man. Nah, I ain't really want to know. <laughs> it was dope. Nah, it was dope. I'm just not like super patriot, you know, patriotic okay. type. You know what I mean? I had to do what I had to do. You know what I mean? We got the veterans. Yeah, we got, got another veteran in the room. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> you in the military too? It went that long. Yeah, like, yeah nah. Actually, I was only in there three of my four years and got in there. You know, he was in there three days. Eight yeah. weeks. <laughs> really ten, really ten. But nah, I, had, I had fun though, for real, for real. I had, I had a ball, man. I want to change. Uh, I'm gonna change my experience for the world. That was up. Yeah, what uh, branch was you in? Navy. I was in the Army. For real, that was yeah, up. Yeah, appreciate the service. Yeah, man. Appreciate your job, man. Appreciate your job. Appreciate his service. Oh, I get my hey, bad. That's, like, that's like one for like one percent. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are still at home playing 2K. It's crazy. Man. Yeah, man. It's all good, man. That part that boot camp crazy. What? You say, talk about it. What's it like, bro? See, I don't know how it is in the Army, but Navy, like, we up all, like, like, it depend on what time you come in there. So, uh, we came with, my group had cat came in like at nine at night. So, they had us up that whole night then to like, to like eight o'clock <coughs> the next night. So, we, we had to like do all that, like paperwork, like the first, like, like your shots and everything. Like, no paperwork. sleep? Between nine? No and eight. sleep. Oh, no sleep. So, then like, if you fall asleep, they, they hollering at your ass. <laughs> Wake your ass up. Wake your ass up. So, like, we like people standing up falling asleep. You, you know how I am. I oh, fall asleep. You know. Anyway, so I mean, that thing, I'm like, so uh, at the time I had glasses, so what I did, I just made some my glasses like this, and I was just sleep. So <laughs> they know my eyes are open or not. So I was up in that thing, sleep like this, but yeah, so it's no sleep. At the, at the first night, when you first came in, you had to shave your head bald and everything, yeah. shave everything off your face. So you whole new person, you can't sleep with nothing like that, so you just in there, so you just like, please, can I sit down? <laughs> I just want to sit down. Yeah, so yeah, it was it was tough. It, it's just all mentally. It's all mentally for the most part. It's all mentally how mentally strong you are for the most part. But other than that, it was it, it was straight after that. But uh, that first day, tough. Crucial. Yeah, it is. It was the same way with y'all. Um, no, nah, not for real. They gave us like three or four days to like in process. So they just, you know, <laughs> we still had our phones. We was getting our uniforms. Oh, short in. We had to send our shit back. So we got to we yeah. take our clothes. We got to where we was gonna sleep and do our barracks and our training. And then it got rough. We got something called a shark attack. So it was like they scream at you, they yell at you, they rush you, um, get you flustered. And like people quit, mm -hmm. but they don't leave until probably one or two classes. They graduate already. They don't just say how cool you go home. They get the. They still got to work. You know what I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. If you gonna make me stay? You might well let me be able yeah, to renew. Now they quit. People was hollering at them. Yeah, people start crying. We first get. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nah, it was, I was like, boy. It was an experience though. Yeah, it was an experience. I, I, it was I, think, I think it was some called the moment of truth or something like yeah. that. It was like oh, a, was like, like a captain or something. He was like just, just like making up scenarios, saying, "I know what y'all did before y'all got here. You right there." You, you you had a parking ticket you didn't even pay for it. Don't tell me about it. So they just making up stuff. <laughs> they they trying to make you convince and like uh and incriminate yourself on purpose so so say so they can send you back home or whatever. Yeah, yeah so yeah, right. so they just making up stuff. And then I'm like, damn, I really did have a parking ticket. And I ain't paid for it. I'm like, what did that happen? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. See, no. <laughs> but yeah, they're gifts for anything, yeah, yeah. It was crazy though. Crazy. Yeah, that's it, so. 
I ain't gonna lie, that was my plan C. I think plan A was like uh, school. Plan B, I don't know, I think plan B I was just thugging. But it was, they ain't <laughs> like, when they came to high school, bro, they ain't like, they ain't give it to you how you should have got it presented. They was like, <laughs> I mean, we got benefits. We got more benefits. I'm like, damn, nah, everybody man. got benefits, dog. The recruiter came to my front door like Nick Saban. He was like, hey, man. He like, <laughs> like, Who this dude is? <laughs> they were like, your son, he made like a like a sim to someone on the ass back. He real small and I. So I'm telling you, they like, everybody think the uh, military should be the plan B or the plan C. It really should be the plan A. It was like saying all this stuff. He sold with me. I like, hey, gotcha. man, where well, I signed my little intent? I'm, I'm signing right now. Gotcha. <laughs> 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 I ain't going to lie, bro. They had a, they had a told me, like, uh, all the jobs, I probably would've went in there. I didn't know I could've, like, did what I went to school for. And you know how they treat the military. It's like, when you come out, they be like, you the military? Top, bro. I feel like, you check that box, bro, it's automatic, bro. Yeah, it is. Cause they be like, some blah, 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 especially military, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, damn, like, yeah. fuck them four years of experience? I mean, I guess military, like, you know, it's understandable why they say fuck them four years. But it's like, damn, bro, like, I went to school for four years. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you really, fuck, bro. Really about, yeah, it really, no, it's really just about all how you take your own, take advantage of your opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, had I known, I'd have done it way different. You know what I mean? If they had to put yeah. it out there, how I ended up learning that it was, I probably would have went. Yeah, well, they're not supposed to. They're supposed to get, you know what I'm saying, the most out of you can get it by giving you the least. So they did what they were supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Them niggas told me. <laughs> yeah. that, bro, I think one they person, person asked what it was going to be like. He said, That's, I'm glad you asked. And that's why we got this video. They call recruiters for a reason. Hey, we got now yeah, seen that big ass shit. Yeah, they they until the uh, the flights, and then we just seeing niggas in war. Yeah, sure. I'm like, well, whoa, like you gonna skip nah, over that? That was the shortest clip. Yeah, nah, I'm like, I think like, we seen that. Yeah, I'm like talk yeah. about it. But no, though. They got male men and shit. I'm like, damn. Like, yeah, you could have been a normal nigga. I was doing that inside of yeah. that inside of boot camp. I was doing that. Could a normal nigga for real, bro. I'm like, damn. And then I know you braided up and taking care of a life, so I was like, damn, I would have went. For sure. Yeah. What's what's you uh what's stopping you now? Uh, like <laughs> I, I just seen it now. <laughs> you go to the reserve. You, I, I just seen it like now. Go to serve your country. I did enough for me not to like take orders no more. Like I don't yeah. I don't wanna you know what I'm saying take orders. It's not like I'm I capable. It's just like yeah I feel you. Fuck that I'm shit. Like, Nigga, we started this shit here, bro. I'm not taking no orders no more, dog. Well, I can't do that. Yeah, I really can't. And then like what y'all gonna do a whole story, man? Y'all gonna come in here and then eventually y'all gonna get to that point. It just ain't the same, man. I mean, overseas and shit, bro. We can't even call the nigga, dog. I mean, we can write you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you nah. Hey, I'm gonna start sending y'all scripts. Hey, make sure you get this part off. Dear Seaman, <laughs> Seaman Recruit <laughs> Battle. Seaman Recruit Battle don't even flow, man. I would've went to the airport, but my whole family went to the airport. For so. real? Yeah. I heard that's the harder one to get into. I, I, I try to get in a dang, they ain't accept me or whatever. It was just, that's 70 cute, nigga, but we don't want it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. We want that shit. Exactly. <laughs> take, that shit to, take that shit to the neighbors, boy. <laughs> Before we get into your book, how you yeah. went to the Navy and you, you can't swim? Bro? Hey, you ain't, got, you ain't got to do it like that, man. You can't I swim. Mean, Nah, I, I got some backstroke. Man. <laughs> man, that shit ain't getting you out of no danger, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they taught me how to backstroke. <laughs> I learned how to do all that in boot camp. So. You just forgot? <laughs> no, I mean, I can still do it if I try, but... You got to uh, go through it like how everybody else went through it, just be in danger. Because that's how I learned how to swim. Like, nah, when I was, like, five, they just threw they me They had up. us, like, sit down in the bottom of the pool, then we, uh, like... I like sit on our butt. They did that shit reverse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Take you out. Because, like, most people who, who was like me, they had, like, a fill of water. Not like a fill, but every time I like, wanted to get over to my neck. <laughs> when the water got, got, got like close to my neck, I started hyperventilating. Like, <laughs> I started breathing hard and shit like that. So, so they, it made us relax, sit down in the pool, and then hold our breath, and then we'll start float. Did somebody we'll float to the you, top of Nah, it's just like, like all the people, all the people who can't swim. So it ain't just black people, it's white people in there, Mexicans and everything. No, so then when you take that damn test or whatever, you you on like a 10 foot diving board. They say it's 10 feet, that shit look like by 20. So you you gotta jump off, swim to the other end, swim back, then like stay afloat for like about five minutes or whatever. But like swimming stamina is like ridiculous. Nah, so, yeah, so when I finally had like learned how to like, damn, 
backstroke proficient or whatever. <laughs> the backstroke they all the way through. Well, the tennis, boy. That's the way they wanted to teach us. It's the backstroke though. So Man. they didn't want us to swim like. <laughs> like I guess that. it's more efficient though. If you got to drag somebody. I don't know. But then they damn push you off that little ten foot diving board. Damn. So they have a choice. They be like on three, one, <laughs> two, and they just I'm like I'm screaming. So, when I, so as I'm screaming, water get all them balloons and everything. So I failed the first time. It was like GTA. I got wasted. I wasted the first time. Second time I failed again, but the third time. I found a damn pants and damn backstroke part. That, that, that shit was so like was. I was so happy. I started crying. Like I ain't gonna lie. I got the pool. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus. <Jeez. laughs> <laughs> I'm crying in the damn thing. That shit was crazy, boy. Because I ain't because I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't know how to swim. So I, I finally conquered something that I always wanted to do. Nah, it's it just more. It's just a moment of clarity right there, man. That's all that is. I know you can swim, bro. Yeah, I, I can now. <laughs> I can now. <laughs> Hell no. We got it's been a minute. We got to get everybody to learn how to swim. We, do. we can't survive for, for, yeah. for survival. You yeah. never know what's going to happen. And two, we just can't let that stereotype just stay out there. <laughs> like, that's the a, lot, a lot more black people do know how to swim than yeah. they say they do, bro. Like, these niggas know how to do backflips and <laughs> yeah, you know, right? swim on the water and shit. So, you know, nah, right. that's cool. We got to learn cool. how to swim when I was six. Forgot. It's probably learned again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. It's easy. You put them in that water, they ain't gonna drown. You need niggas. You can, you can trust them. Yeah, right. they ain't gonna drown. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Now let's get into the good stuff, man. Let's do it. Talk to us about your book, man. Yeah, man. Uh, I got one. That's the one. Let y'all check it out. Um, di- uh, different, uh, different story. Destined for Rose Not Taken. It's, um, it's an acronym, obviously. But, yeah, it's really a movie script. Um, when I got back in 2017, back up against the wall, you know what I mean? Uh, I wasn't finna get back in the streets or, you know, ask somebody to pay my rent. So I just put the notes in book form and got the hustling, you know what I mean? And here we are, <clears throat> five years later, uh, going on 6th of September, man. Stupid, man. Went crazy. It did better than what I thought it was. Originally, I was only supposed to do 100 books just because of the way that I did and put it out. But, you know, once the ball got rolling, it was... Um, too late to turn back, so I just kept it moving, man. I just kept the campaign going. So, how many did you end up uh, getting out? Well, I'm over, I'm still doing. I had somebody yeah. ask me to buy them, uh, buy some yesterday. I jumped on their live, you know, wish me happy holidays. But I'm well over twelve hundred now, close to thirteen. Oh, Self-published, New York, best, best selling author right now. Yeah, for real, man. Uh, self-published. I print out every every one that I sell. I touch. Uh, I print them right here in Birmingham, but I'm getting ready to look for all black print company now. Um, for the new campaign, so everybody out there, all black print company, how that got some work for you, but um, yeah, man, I didn't, I honestly didn't know I, I would be doing this or it would do what do what it did or anything. So all this is still kind of brand new to me. Oh, what's up? Yeah, man. So uh, besides not wanting to get back in the streets, what inspired the, mm-hmm. uh, I guess the concept, or what just made you write a book? So um, I, I had a dream really. Um, now the the actual body of the work. This is supposed to be um, the storyline for a music video. Mm-hmm. And then I saw a contest, a um, short film competition that you can win 10000 This is right before I joined the Army. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, man, I can put a little bit more thought and creative to it to make it from a video to a short film. That 10000 sounds good. Oh, and then, um, you know, I just got the right one. My frat brother's hand on He read it, told me to add a love entrance to it. And uh, here we are, man. We got the book. But ultimately, I want to do a short film to win that 10000 and then once I got to doing homework about how to do it, and you got to hire actors and certain cameras, and it was it would have cost me damn near more to shoot it than to make. Mm-hmm. But I still had the concept and the idea. <clears throat> so when I went to the military, I was just like, yo, I know I was going to get it, get out. I just took it from a short film to a film, just put my work to it, and sh- here, we, here we are three years later. That's what I'm 14. Yeah. Now, talking about that process of, like, writing a book, because I've been wanting to write a book, but yeah. more so, like, a... Uh, uh, the ones that you put on Audible, I guess you just slip them. Ebook. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah. So again, <clears throat> this is it's not like it's not it's not like a book. So mm-hmm. when I initially wrote it, I had like a um like a notepad. I still got the notepad. Um, but it was just like seven to eight pages. And then when I when I got overseas, I, you know I ain't really um hang with my unit for real. And obviously, it's only so much you can do when you're down range. So I literally sat in front of the computer as I was reading the notes. And once I got to a certain point, I stopped. And then when I got back, I just kept adding, 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 adding. And then in 2016, I just I kept adding, adding, adding um, to the script. So, again, it's not like I said, hey, I want to write a book. Mm-hmm. This was, again, the idea was <clears throat> to get a 
music video, then a short film, then a film. So again, you know, I took the notes and just put it in book form, just had it formatted, and just push that, push um, literature through, you know, the, uh, the uh, mentoring and whatnot. So, I mean, it did way more than I imagined it for it to do. Um, so yeah, bro, here we are, you know what I mean? Now I can say I'm an author on, by accident, <laughs> for real. I don't think most authors can say that. Most yeah. authors usually like it's playing it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, that's, and that's, again, that's why we, here we are five years later, man. Like, I had no idea um, that I would be doing book pop-ups and going to certain meetings and certain conferences. And this book is like a key to certain doors that certain people wouldn't even talk to me if I was trying to rap or if I just had a basic job or a regular job. But because mm-hmm. I got that book, certain people look at me so, uh, so Certain people look at me different, mm-hmm. so it's kind of like before I put the name now, I kind of really want to kind of grasp grasp my hunt, the uh, the concept of going to sitting on panels and you know talking to specific individuals and figuring out how to actually publish a book opposed to self publishing a book. So yeah, I just been in the lab doing my homework, but I didn't help 30, 40 people write one, so it's nothing for me to help you write one. It's easy. I gotta remember my concepts. Yeah. That was like two years ago. I just kind of. Can't think of nothing. All right, so again, going back to the yellow piece of the yellow notebook paper, that's how I started. I started on seven sheets of paper. Mm. And here we are right now, almost at 1300 out the trunk, you know what I mean? Selling them like CDs. That is crazy. Who yeah, bro. Out the trunk, yeah, bro. So, I mean, and it worked because you get 100% of your money, like right now, opposed to going to Amazon and they sending you a check and you got to wait once a month. Mm. So, if I can give you this and you give me $10 or $20, now, that's instant gratification. You know what I mean? Sure. And people have like a personal relationship, which is just, mm-hmm. you get to ask them more questions opposed to <clears> looking <throat> at a picture online. You know what I mean? You get to kind of like talk to me for five or ten minutes or two to three, hear my story, kind of like touching and reading. It. Like, oh man, that's dope. You actually talk to somebody who did exactly what you want to do. So I think it's more important to doing it the self published way. You know what I mean? Um, again, you get to be more personable. But yeah, bro. <clears throat> changed my life. So how did you know uh, when you were done writing? I assume this would be like a process that you just keep revisiting. Yeah, so um, I knew I got to the end of the movie. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So um, even in the book, disclaimer, um, it's a cliffhanger. Cause, like, you know, I learned that in, in school that, if, you know, you got to um, grab people's emotions and you got to leave them one, one more. Mm-hmm. So I didn't put everything in it. So now people are, oh, man, I want the second book. I want the second one. Or you got a gift. But I can see it as a movie and they want to see what happened in the end. So that gave me enough time to be like, all right, I can wait two, three years to figure it out before I give him something else. And before I did that, I was like, man, I might as well go ahead and give him the movie and let him see it like that opposed to me putting it in another book for him. But um, yeah, it's now, I'm at 10 scripts now, so I'm just going to do the same thing. Shoot this movie, then write the next one, take those notes, put it in book form, push that for a year or two, and then just gonna keep going back and forth so I can make three, two, three, four streams of income just off of one piece of work. Uh, if anybody that can write a book, podcast, or a music song, you producer, you can write a book or, or a movie script. Super easy. <clears throat> so, what's your, of course, it's going to be part two. Right, right, right. So, you're going to do the movie with uh, the part two included? Yeah. So, at the uh-huh. end, I got like, um, if, 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 you can, if we can get to it, like, uh, like I say, chapter five. Mm. And then at the end, if you if once you read it, I say overtime, and that's kind of like the last quarter of the movie. So instead of me putting it in another book, I actually put it on put it on the big screen. So say you read it and you know you at the end of the book, but it's still 20, 30 minutes left in the movie. So you're gonna be twice as much engaged as someone who's never read the book because you're already anticipating what the end gonna be like. So you just imagine twelve the twelve or a couple thirteen hundred people that got it and read it. And, and read the book and want to actually know what happened, I guarantee them same people that supported about the first one going to be at that movie theater watching that movie. So, that's pretty dope. I don't have no chance with that. Yeah. So that's, how I'm gonna do. that's kind of going to be like my tagline. All my books going to be cliffhangers to make you want to watch the movie. I like it. Indeed. Yeah, I live, man. Man, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, I can come back for some. Yeah, man. Just keep, them, keep them one more. And now you got, you know, Lord. and then you can help them. And it's not like they just got to support you. You didn't. Show them love and support them as well. They might be inspired by, you know, what you've done and how you did in your cre and, and, and your creative genius on why you did it the way you did it. So yeah, that's what's up. So mm-hmm. when is your projected date for the movie? So I start my campaign in January. <coughs> um, projected, I want to start shooting around twenty four. I think it should be seen around twenty five. So I start in January. My homecoming. I went to Payne College in Augusta, Georgia. 
is on February 10th and 11th. So um, everything that I put in this book um, is what I learned from playing college. And then you know, uh, other personal experiences to help with specific scenes or whatnot. But for the most part, you know, it's based Harlem Renaissance era, New York, um, and then D.C. Wale was one of my favorite artists. So um, the main character goes to Northwest D.C., uh, a high school in D.C., which is the same high school Wale went to in D.C. or what have you. But um, everything I learned is from pain. So I'm, I think it's full circle that it's only right that I start the movie campaign exactly the place to where it gave me the information to write this book. So then once I do that, you know, <coughs> September get here, I'll go through all through the summer. September we'll do the football season again, and then December, January, I plan on having auditions and figuring out who want to do what table reading. So by May, I don't see why we shouldn't be shooting it from August to December of 23 to um, 24. Shit, we ready to rock and roll. Now, do you anticipate giving Wale a copy of this book? Yeah, actually I do. Um, and it's not too far fetched. Like I got a lot of people holding the book. I met Shaq, Davies, Ha Ha Dixon, um, Mitchy Sleep, G Perigo, the Saint Lunatics. So I got a lot of people, you know, um, holding the book already. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, once I just get back in, get back on the road, and I actually put a campaign around the whole movie concept. Then um, yeah, he'll definitely get a copy. And it's still a bunch of other people. El Von, I'm gonna make sure you get one. Um, Sonny Boom, X Y, you know, a bunch of people. Yeah, why they do that? Definitely for sure. sure. Now, I must know where did you see Shaq and Dave Beast at? Cause they just don't seem like you <laughs> just see randomly. Nah, Shaq was um at this at a park not too far from um from where I was in Atlanta, Ellenwood, and um my frat brother um Smooth and Grooves went to Tuskegee. He was having he was the food truck for that for the event that he was having. Okay. So I went to go show love to my frat brother before he left and I didn't know it was Shaq event until I got to the event. So I had some in my trunk. I ate my food. Before I left, I walked up to him, gave him a picture, and they gave him a copy of the book. Uh, I got his information from, you know, his his personal secretaries or whatnot. So uh, like now, moving towards the movie campaign, he'll definitely be somebody I'll reach out to. Um, and everybody else who was here, Pastor Troy, you know, he signed my jacket. We both went to Payne College. That's what's up. So it's just stuff like that, you know what I mean? You gonna put me in movie? Uh, if they want to be in it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I got, like I said, I got teams. So I, got, <laughs> I, got, I got plenty of work for, for plenty of people, but... Um, yeah, I want to audition too. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, hometown. Yeah, and then yeah. I'm going to do a lot of my auditions in Alabama too, opposed uh, to trying to go to like in Atlanta or LA or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, or wherever people are popular for shooting movies. But I want to do a lot of it right here in Alabama, so... Definitely. Yeah, what up? I really yeah. want to see that, man. Cause yeah, nah, you will. Like I'm, I'm headstrong, man. Like I, again, once I came back in '17, the initial plan was for me to go back to Atlanta in 2018, but the cookie didn't crumble that way, and you know, I ended up staying till 19. And the day I was leaving to go back to Atlanta, um, I got a call to coach my son's basketball team. So half of the stuff that I had on my truck, I threw away, gave it away. You know what I mean? And then I did that, and right before I really got ready to go back. After his season, COVID hit, so I ended up staying mm -hmm. again. So it was just like, I've been trying to get back yeah. since 2018. Here, man. Yeah, man. So it was just like, nah, I can't wait no more, man. I got to get back on the road, get fly again. You know what I'm saying? I figured it out. Shit, we finna get to it. Nah, my dog right here is a failed actor, unfortunately. Uh, nah, we finna just, we finna I get started. I ain't even started yet. Yeah, this is for the two-part role. I didn't even do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. He missed out on a <laughs> T-Mobile uh, commercial, so I wore my hat. That's true, though. That's true, but it's just, I, uh, I never, I, I never, uh, I did for anything. Hey, man, yet. failed the first attempt at learning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't so. failed yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, we good. We yeah. good. I got something for you. I got something for you. That's a fact. <laughs> Y'all heard, heard it first, man. Your man, he gonna be on the big screen. For sure. Stay tuned. I'll be extra for these. I got a lot of work. I'll be like, there. I got a lot of work. Nah, you get a main role. Don't sub don't subject yourself to being I did extra. try to I did try to audition to be a walker role. on the walking day. I said I did try to try to accept it. <laughs> 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 they didn't accept me though. You probably doing too much. Ugh, what the fuck's he doing? <laughs> Oh, that's what's up, though. Where you met Dave East at? Um, I was, we was in Atlanta. Um, he had a um, survival tour. And then one of our partners, Taylor Rap Guy, um, was down on tour with D. Jones from Philly. 
Mm. And we drove over from Alabama, me, my partner Cat Jack, RJ LA, I think he go like John Rue now. Um, and my boy Cortez on um, Lace Bridges was from um, Montevallo and Calier. So we drove over, we met him down from Philly, uh, we went to the um, soundtrack, um, we went to the um, sound check early that day. We kicked with him about an hour, two hours. Fast forward, they was like, yo, y'all wanna open? We get out a shot. The team huddled together, we was like, yeah. So we was backstage with him. Um, There's a couple other cats that opened, and before he went on, he was walking backstage. I stopped him, told him I was gonna sign it after the show. You know, we was on stage with him. This is the night my man met Trouble, not too long, um, right, not too long before he passed. But um, yeah, we met Trouble that same night too. And then after the show, before everything got crazy, we slid in his locker room. I gave it to him, took the picture. Uh, and my man, he cool with his brother, so we still keep in contact. We was at his um. Um, gathering spot show that he did. I met Jay Stone backstage, got his information and all that. So, and we done met a lot of people that I had just really talked about because that's gonna be part of my new campaign. Not good. January get here, but yeah, Davey super cool, tall as hell. Motherfucker about I six nine. Shit up, six nine. Nine. Nah, he about six that, six. Really, he's taller than what I imagined for him to be. He's taller than every person. Yeah, he's tall as bro. hell, bro. Dave, he's tall as hell. I was like, I seen him hooping, so I was like, all right, he a tall. Dude. Yeah, he, he sure. played at Richmond and um, Townston. And was fine. Yeah, it was, it was nice. Really yeah, he played with Kevin uh, Kevin Durant growing up in uh, D.C., Maryland area. Yeah. Yeah, that should just let you know right there. Right there. He was hooping for Nice. Yeah, <laughs> super nice. But yeah, moved forward a lot of celebrities. I think I got a picture of me and um, the St. Lunatics in here. Actually, yeah. So like, we took that picture at South by Southwest in 2018, and I recently had them sign it uh, at the Murphy League Experience in Atlanta. And um, Gray Matter was in there. Uh, T Timo Goody um, from Goody Mob was in there. A couple other people, but I signed the book for him and left Q1. I got Q1 cell phone number. So um, yeah, they signed the picture, man. They remembered it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, so, bro, you'll be surprised how many people I have cell phone numbers I got. You know what I mean? So, and that's what gave me the idea and the inspiration to go ahead and kick the campaign off the way that I'm going to do it. What's some good wisdom you got from these people you met? Um, don't quit. My bad, bro. I mean, I mean you've been rocking good. on your tail. <laughs> <laughs> you like, hey, nigga. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> um, just don't quit, man. Like, you know, um, you got to know yourself. You know what I mean? You got to know exactly where you're going before you start. You know what I mean? Have confidence. Um, Margaret Garvey said the best. He who has no confidence is twice defeated in the race of life without confidence. With confidence, you won before you started. So um, go in there knowing what you want. You know what I mean? Go in there knowing know people are going to talk about you. You're going to be outcast. People, you know what I mean? But if you got a, 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 a for sure plan and a vision, like you see yourself in Africa or in Jamaica or on this team or in this city and state, once you see it, just work back and start from there. You can't build a house. You know, on an unstable foundation, and you are your foundation. So once you got yourself together and you're not worried about what people say about you or calling your idea crazy because it's not their vision, just know it's not their vision. You, you better tell them. You know what I mean? You so just yeah. keep digging, and then here you're going to be five, four, three years later touching celebrities. You had no idea, but you brought your idea to reality, to life, and you know what I mean? It's going to be proof in the pudding. You really got to talk about it. You just... You know, your actions speak louder than words. You know, I've been in rooms with people who I wouldn't imagine I would be in the same room, let alone talking to and getting cell phone numbers or whatnot, man. So, um, believe in yourself, have confidence, and have a plan, man. Keep going. Now, quick sidebar. We uh, asked this question on the last pod. Can I get some uh, Wale lyrics from you? Like, what are your favorite Wale lyrics? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I like your favorite song, man. I mean, it's a few. I love Cliche, um, Love, Hate Thing, Jordan Threes, um, White Shoes, Matrimony. I can go on and on. Um, What's his best body of work? Ooh, for, people gift, that's for me, the Gifted album, because I was in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I was traveling back and forth to Virginia and D.C. Um, I was around the CIAA movement, which is like Norfolk State, Shaw, Fayetteville State. So... Um, the gift that I was actually around the DMV area when that album came out, so that 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 body of work, um, me and more to me than pretty much anything he's done. But the, like I said, I like Cliche and you know Fifty Shades of Black and all of that. I like that some records off of that album as well. What's your uh, favorite Kodak album? This black. <laughs> mm, you know what? 
favorite albums change with like times. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I guess right now, it gotta be that new shit, man. That's, I be, that's I be feeling I'm the new shit. Bro. The cut though, be. A, I know you a hard future fan, man. I know you probably got that one. Astronaut status, that'd be crazy, huh? It's a lot. <laughs> like, probably, uh, don't nobody talk about it. It's the, the Wizard. No, it's, yeah, it's the Wizard. It's called The Wizard. That's his, uh, it's one of the album came out like 2018, I believe. 2019, called The Wizard. That's the one uh, people just weren't feeling because somebody else had dropped on that sign there. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, probably The Wizard. I feel that. Because uh, whenever Dirk drop, I feel like the new shit just better than the old shit. Whenever EST drop, I feel like the new shit. Honestly, his whole catalog is ridiculous, bro. You gotta be in the mood to listen to that nigga, bro. You might get Tonight. real violent. Yeah, you get violent. No, we walk outside. I'm telling, bro. First six seconds, he didn't kill the nigga on the track. I'm like, boy, this nigga here is aggressive, boy. Uh, so yeah. I'm telling you, Yavo, his projects get better and better. You gotta get that nigga on here one of these days. So, he's touchable. He'll come. Indeed. Yeah, he'll come. Indeed. Shout out Yebo, man. Shout out Bestman. Off my boy some, uh, some rants. Like, nigga, we, got, we got an old for you, dog. <laughs> we got an old for cool. showing up. <laughs> but yeah, man. What else you need people to know about this book? Oof. It's a page turner. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot um, of people out here that just don't read. A lot of yeah. people feel like they don't have a time to read. All right, so two, what people won't know, and I'm going to say this here before, you know, the word here, um... I made it super simple, like it's not it's not even edited. Like I, I reached out to a lot of people and asking for help, but people didn't believe in me. People was laughing at me. Damn. You know what I mean? So it's I'm thinking, I yeah. So I mean, I went to. I'm thinking I'm gonna take it and go straight to script and just fix it as I go, just the same way as I wrote it. But um, yeah, I was so pissed, bro. I was just like, you know, and not just arrogant, but bold enough to be like, I put this motherfucker out unedited no to shit. show you. Fuck you and what you thought about me, me personally. For sure. But then, too, a lot of people who I wanted to communicate with, which is kind of like mature, middle, high, early to, oh, you know, college. Who the audience? Yeah, I mean, anybody can read it. I've had 13 year olds read it. I had professors at Penn State read it. You know what I mean? Like, literally. And everybody um, perceiving and take it, take something different from it. Mm. But then, a lot of times, you know, some people are reading me like, well, who edited it? I'm just like, was it good or not? You and like you read it, you gave me your time. Like I know why I did it the way that I did it. But a lot of people, it's their first time ever reading a book, and I wrote it with slang. So certain words where you think I, I misspelled it, like by accident, oh, like I did that on purpose. Yeah, you know how you spell it. You know what I mean? Run on sentences. A lot of that in here because it's a very, very. You can re- literally read this book in two to three hours or four to six, depending on what level of, you know I mean, you are re- with reading. But it's a super simple read. I didn't put too much thought into making it to where every comma and semicolon was where it's supposed to be. Yeah. It was more intent just to it's show people. Raw. Yeah, it's very, very raw. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. And again, had it not been for people laughing in yeah. my face, telling me that it wasn't going to happen, I wouldn't have did it that way. I would have took more time. I could have put this book through Grambling and it wouldn't have been edited better than what it is now. True. But who cares about that? I don't yeah. inspire another hundred people to write a book. I've got people who've never read uh, read books, probably first time reading books in their life. Homies that I grew up with, like bro, you the first person I ever met who who read a book. People read me two and three times, telling me that kids gonna read it. I got people cussing me out in public who I don't know exists, but like you didn't gave the book to your man, his mama picked it up. And, you know, she got her little niece to see who I am on Instagram and been looking for me for six months to cuss me out on why I did certain <laughs> things a certain way. Just bro, I get on. that. Bro, you'd be surprised. I'd be certain places to where I wouldn't think nobody would know me. And then somebody would walk up to me and be like, why you do me like that? Like, I need book two. And I'm just like, <laughs> what the hell? So I did that to show people you don't have to be literally white, super perfect, or feel like you got to have it all together to get anything done. Not just this book, but a cooking company or a podcast or a clothing company. Start now, tomorrow ain't promised. Obviously, we see that. Thanks. You know what I mean? So I wrote it that way to show people, like, look at me as your example. I'm almost 1,300 out the trunk with an unedited book that people laughed at me about. Just get the work. You know what I'm saying? Put the 2K down. Stop chasing women or men. You know what I'm saying? And really focus on what your dream is, man. Go to work because you never know who you're going to inspire. You know what I mean? Time it, time is, is the most important currency that we have. So, you know, again, that's just, you know, a little gem that people don't know about it. 
shit I like. Yeah, man. I think we all have been through sure. some that just, uh, you, you, like, try to share with somebody that's either maybe random, just get a little something back. Or a close family member. Or somebody close, and they just mm-hmm. like, boy, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, too. The people closest to you are going to support you um, the least once they see that the outside world is taking on. It's kind of like damn, a trend damn, to around. show you love. Then people who probably wouldn't have never read it is going to be asking you for it. You know what I mean? Like, I still get people who I thought would have bought it month one, let alone year one, just not getting it. You know what I'm saying? 2022 going into 2023. And I'm just like... You got to treat them. I believe Well, yeah, but I, you know, I just keep it cool. All the hey, time. man, timing is everything. So it's kind of like, all right, here you go. At least you got it now. So yeah. that's the most important thing. You got something tangible to put in somebody's hand. You know what I'm saying? I got folks that I ain't never heard the pod. Ask them, get on the pod. I'm like, now what kind of nigga do you take me for? Right. Like, be for real. You don't even follow the pod. Like, be for real. <laughs> Yeah, because I was following it. You know, I think I, yeah. met, I think I met you, and then y'all jumped on live. It was uh, Deshaun. Deshaun, okay. Yeah. yeah, yep, yep. And then here we are now, like, within two weeks, you know what I'm saying, from following to on the phone. Again, again, what if I was on playing 2K or watching the bas- NBA basketball game, but I had my phone in my hand working, got live popped in, and not a week later, here we are. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's just how I am, how aggressive I work. And like that's it. just how God is gonna align. You take the first, you're gonna take the next ten. Yeah, you are. Some should just be meant yeah. to be, cause that that live was planned uh, for like a milestone. However, like we don't never hop on live for real, so it was mm-hmm. like you don't hop on this bitch like thirty minutes. Mm-hmm. And you know, if you was in there, you saying it was probably like eight people mm-hmm. at the most. But it's like at least somebody got something. But from you me. never know who them eight is. I'm finna hear shoot a movie. Mm-hmm. Like imagine you had a hundred people on there and they had nothing going on, but you got you probably had me, another producer, a cameraman, mm-hmm. quality over quantity. It ain't who, it ain't how many watching, it's who watching. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Church. You don't, you don't so, know two or three. Yeah, sure, bro. Like you church. Know, they <laughs> one might be Oprah Winfrey or yeah. Rihanna, a sit makeup assistant, and she be like, hey, you should get up. I'm telling you, that's how that's how it works, bro. So just keep the, doing what you've been doing. I got the message from Deshaun. He said, hey, man, somebody that was in the line. I said, somebody that was in the line. I said, what? Well, that shit is crazy. Yeah. Is this a fake video? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I was like, that shit is really wild. Yeah. Homework. Like, I got to use Instagram for my homework. Like, if I'm on Instagram, it's for me to find something to do or for I can get this book to somebody's hand so we can get to this at this this mission that I got. You know what I'm saying? What's your Instagram, man? They, they, uh, they pages of oh, Parker. Yeah. yeah, Pages of Parker. You gotta get them on that man. Yeah, for sure. Man. Pay, appreciate that too. Pay the part. And then too, once I get ready to hit the road and start doing auditions, I definitely double back. I want to get y'all more involved when I hit the road. If y'all want to bring this show on the road, do some do some horrible um some horrible interviews on the road horrible. in the city. Horrible. Cause we gotta bring people back to Birmingham. You know what I'm saying? Sure, the only way we gonna do that is we branch out. So you know I'm already moving. I got some momentum. Shit, I get y'all my schedule. Y'all tag along. Y'all free. Plug and play, you know what I mean? All you need is a room, obviously. Right. Same Rome, thing that um, like million dollars worth of game do. They go to cats' hotel rooms, hey, lobbies, they get in the kids. kitchen. Yeah, man. Have you seen the interview that Wally um Wally did on um, Big Facts? No, I, I seen the one he just did with uh, Pivot. All right, so watch the interview that Wally was on Big Facts, and that's gonna—I promise you—you you're gonna get so much from that, bro. You can be like, man. You gonna share it to 10, 15 more other people. I'm telling you, bro. Like watching that one, not I mean other ones as well. Mm. But him on Big Facts, bro, he went crazy. So yeah, definitely check that out. Y'all too. If anybody out there, y'all need some inspiration, some motivation, Big Facts Podcast with Wallow. Hey, he gonna do something. Hey, he won the one, man. Yeah, like, twenty years, years gave him some gave him some uh twenty five. He did five first and then went back and did twenty. Damn. Yeah. I know what makes you Yeah, he said he did more time behind bars than on the streets. Indeed. Who, which Rollo we talking about? Uh, a million dollars worth of game from Philly, him and Gilly the Kid. Okay, okay. Yeah. I thought y'all was talking about They got a Rollo. podcast, but he was going to be fat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought he, I was going to say, I know he's still in jail. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, no, not Rollo, Wallo with a W. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Fam, go! Yeah. <laughs> 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 One inspiration nigga, but I think he was like one of the podcasts I was watching before we uh struck it up. Mm-hmm. So it's a few more out there too. I like what 85 doing. Um I like you know of course you gotta go holler at Snoop with GGN. You know what I mean? Like I like what he was doing when he was first popped off. 
And some of them was out there. He a huge Court Holcomb fan. We're going to have to get this. All right. Oh, yeah. 51 feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him, too. I like him, too. I like him, too. Love a good case of massage. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> hey, somebody got called about. How do it be you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody got yeah, to do it. Yeah, fuck around. Come to Birmingham. All these celebrities they be at the start on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Go to a comedy show. Hey, we got these mics. Can we come to your dressing room? You'll be surprised how many people show you love. The fact that you was even bold enough or brave enough to do that shit, they was like, hell yeah, yeah, because somebody actually showed them some love. Yeah, yeah. 10, yeah. 15 minute interview, bro, that shit gonna have y'all going crazy. Indeed. Straight up. And that's exactly how I get to all these celebrities. What up, Shaq? Take this book. What's up, young brother? Yeah. Man. <laughs> I was looking down at me, like, I'm looking at me, I'm like, ain't no way here. You nigga a giant, ain't he, bro? <laughs> Shaq's so damn big, man. Shaq, one of them niggas, Shaq, like, you just you. can't see getting dunked on, bro. Yeah, like, bro. what hell, no, bro? But then you gotta think about all the people. That ain't that big playing against this man, bro. Like, ain't no way. And I'm looking like, all right, man, there's some cats in the league that were trying to get to the league. I ain't going to this big motherfucker anymore. That nigga bro, put you in the paint. Huge, bro. Put you in that post. Bro, Shaq, old. hand about the size of this damn table, bro. Like, <laughs> this right. motherfucker extended his hand. That shit was like a plank. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Shaq is big as hell, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you um, met that nigga in the event? Yeah, he was doing um, cause you know he was sheriff, and they was doing like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. like a what the hell? Mm-hmm. deputy sheriff. Yeah, yeah Shaq was that, that nigga was on sixty days in, and it was like sheriff Shaq, and I was like, what the yeah. fuck? Nah, that shit, oh, that shit no. real deal on the field. Nah, I know that shit. He a doctor too, yeah. So in the cab, well, I don't know if it's in the cab, but he had an event with like a, a car and bike club. Uh, DJ Greg Street was out there. They had food trucks sure, and shit. Sure. And again, I went to go support <laughs> my frat brother, Smooth and Groove. Imagine that nigga he pulling you over. Shit. I think it was a joke, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't no way, bro. Place of the registration. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, shake the fuck out of here, man. Stop playing, bro. <laughs> this is for real, young brother. <laughs> like, damn. No. Put your hands where I can see him. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. What did Nick Cat Williams say? He said, uh, dress up as a, a, a real, as a free throw. Goddamn, we try to shoot your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just be at the car like this. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'll be one of them niggas here to shoot, bro. I just couldn't take them serious, bro. Nah. Like, well, you I take that motherfucker. I'll take it serious. Take yeah, that you might take it, let me get the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No problems. Yeah. You gotta show me. I'm you sorry. You take either jail by your collar. He don't even. Tell me by your shirt. Get right. your ass. You gotta yeah, catch yeah. me on the street, man. I don't do that shit on the freeway. Wait. <laughs> like, need to drive by. Like, damn. <laughs> I try. you would be so surprised. You probably try to get his autograph or some shit. Let me take a picture. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, that's take that much shit. Take the shit. Shit. shot. Shit, shit. Tell that nigga get in on the motion. Come on, bro. Yeah. Real quick, bro. This is all the way, bro. Jump in. Fuck that, I'm not trying to go to jail. I'm, you, I'm like checking some audio, man. Cause right now, I'm not hearing this mic. But I hear the used to. You just like, oh. I don't know. I guess I just need to Killer B. Killer B. Killer B Entertainment. Bzz. Representing Chef County. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, my dog, Jersey. We got a lot of What can we find that right now? Uh, he made them Killer B Entertainment. Um, you should follow him on follow him on Instagram. I made sure I tag him. <laughs> <laughs> he have a tight? Uh, I don't know, but if you did, I'm sure he might send you a link. You know what I mean? I get hooping that hole right up. Straight up. He got a different colorways, T-shirts. Um, shout out to everybody in Chevy County, man. Cat Jack Productions, if you need a beat. We got all type of artists. Cocaine, uh, Faye, RJLA, uh, Coach Finesse, uh, Walk 1000. Dot, 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 dot. Shout out to my boy, Killer Kane. Kevin Lee Bivens. That's Bivins. him right there. Kevin Lee Bivens. Yeah, shout him out. You know what I'm saying? Be like, yo, Peter Parker got this jersey. Will you walk? We finna get it cracking. Will you walk? Bitch. Putting out my Chevy County, I'm telling you. Collier, Montevallo, Alabaster, Columbiana, Vincent, Bill County. We finna go crazy. Bill, I mean, obviously, this is on entity, but that South Day area, you know what I'm saying? We finna go crazy. So shout out to everybody that's doing their thing, man. Magic Barbershop, um, my boy Johnny King, Ed, um, Antoine, all them cats. You know what I'm like, man, take your time, bro. Shout out yeah, to everybody. Go whole hood on the man. I'm telling you, we're whole hood. You know, like, you know, we finna go crazy. I'm in Alabaster. Um, you know, we got the coalition. We got some mind Columbiana. 
Uh, we got people in Collier, um, in Montevallo, and then we just gonna keep expanding from Chilton County to Bill County. Taking over one yeah, city at a time. One city at a time, man. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Frog. We the best. <laughs> Straight up, I'm telling For you, real. man. Mark my words, man. 2023, 2024, even 2022. Shit, now, here on out. Now, here on out. Gonna go crazy, man. Oh. So, Chevy County, get ready. You know what I mean? Shout out to Big Dogs, go KB. Um, that boy Cat Jack, you know what I'm saying? Peter Parker, we finna do some things. Now talking about Shelby County, man. What y'all, what y'all do for fun down there? Come to Birmingham. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought, bro. Is it over here? You know, it's, I, it's, I fought with Shelby County for sure. Yeah, and it, it got a lot of potential, man. Um, and, I, and it's gonna get better. You know, somebody just gotta take the first step forward. You, you know? got a little Huntsville in it. Yeah, <laughs> man. You but, um, push. We just, we just gotta come together for real, for real. That's you know, outside looking in. Cause I've been gone up until I came back in '17. So um, that was me. You know, part of my homework was figuring out how to we, how we can come together. You know what I mean? So, um, my Kathy, he does bonfires. KB, the cat that you follow, just follow. He do bonfires. He got artists. He hosts events. He do shows. Um, but we just got we just got to get together. Once we get some access, and we got you know one or two um, pillars of the community that say this is what should be done. Then once that happens and we lay the foundation, then it'll be easy to build. But until then. You know, we got to go to Montgomery and go to Huntsville and go to Birmingham, and we got to do everything. So once until we can sit at home and bring people to us, then, you know, it's, it's never going to be anything to do. I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of potential, though, man, a lot of upside. So, yeah, we finna get it cracking. Now, besides this pod, uh, what is your movie and book uh, pressure on, I guess? What, what's that like? What is it? Consist of. All right, so we'll go from um, I'll shoot a commercial on sometime in January. I put it out ten days before my homecoming to do the ten day countdown from X Y Z to February like thirty thirty first. Then homecoming to get here. Um, two weeks, we just push push, do all the interviews I can, hand to hand contact. At the end of the month, I'll probably do an event. Um, March to get here, uh, swag basketball championship. I'm gonna be right here in Bartow. So I go to that two or three days. The week after that, I'll be at South by Southwest, same way I met the um, St. Louis Ticks. So mm-hmm. we'll do that from like the 14th through the 19th. Come back, go to D.C., probably end of March, all of April, just push, push, push. Busy. Yeah, super busy. Yeah, super busy. Like, I got it lined out, man, on the last two weeks. You know, you got the fight on the 15th, and the week after that, it's an event with some cats from California. Um, where we at? March, April, May. Um Shoot to the West Coast, May 6th, Mitchie Slick, got a concert, come back, do my thing, June, uh, ABFF is in Miami, July, my Capricorn Clay is in Tampa, August, not in, I'll have... Now, this shit programming your head, don't know. You know, this shit about it. Hey, hey, no Google Calendar, just no notes, right? program. Nah, I'm ready, bro. Like, <laughs> I mean, you got to think, I've been, been working... I put the plan together from from 15, 16 to 17, and then 17, you know, I had to start all the way over, so it's kind of mm-hmm. like I've been working on this since 2018, so four years, I've just been head down, okay. ready to go, I making adjustments, you know what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> and bro, like, it, ain't, it would have been easy, bro, like, it has not been, it's been fun, the journey has been, like, ecstatically <clears throat> fun, like, again, had you <clears throat> asked me this question in, in 14 or 12 or 13, I would have looked at you like you had five heads on, oh, shit. you know what I'm saying, <laughs> like, seriously, I had yeah. no idea that what I'm going to be doing I was gonna be doing so. I wanted to make sure that I was at least in a, in a position in a situation to where when it did take off, that momentum gonna carry yeah, that momentum right. gonna carry me from lily pad to lily pad. Mm-hmm. So like now, where I am now, bro, ten scripts in. I got two TV shows. One of them, seven, eight episodes. One of my movies is a trilogy. Uh, one of them is a part one and part two. So out of that ten, you got another four or five more. So you know they go to thirteen, fourteen. Just and these quick. have or have not released yet. Oh, nah, this is the first okay, okay. one. So, you know, I, once I start my company, you know what I mean, everything will be licensed out opposed to be selling it. Mm-hmm. So I make more money again. You find that out watching the Big Facts podcast with Wilo. Big but it's just integral stuff like that. I could I could write books once a month or every other year mm-hmm. if I wanted to, but it was, it's bigger than just what people see. You know what I mean? It's how to do your paperwork the right way and what type of businesses is going to come from this and how do you want to travel and how you want to do your auditions and who do you want to shoot and what film company, what cameras, and who clothes. Like, I got my partner clothing line, um, and this is for anybody else that has clothes or any merchandise. Say you got a clothing line named Horrible Story. You got a clothing line. 
So watch this. Say in this in this in one of my movies, somebody got a podcast. I would only have that character wearing your clothing line for the whole movie. So now not only is the character getting love, but your clothing line getting love. Yeah. So everybody would be like, hey, I like that shirt that he had on. At minute thirty seven sixteen, where well, my man got a link, and now simply because you had somebody that you can put a piece of your merchandise into, like a TV show or a movie, now you probably getting orders from across the globe simply because one of your mans had an idea to write a, mo- a book and turn it into a movie. Crazy, ignorant. You got Stupid. a passport? Y'all got passports? No, I'm working on. All right, now imagine if y'all was to go to a film festival overseas. The same way that John Singleton broke Boys in the Hood before they, people in America even saw it. So now, you take 12 of them horror store shirts over there and sell them for $100 a piece. Now they not only wearing your clothes, but they asking, hey, what kind of music is going on in Chevy County, Alabama? Now I get to send them 30 of my artists before they even go to the title or sound scan off of an idea. So it's kind of like the togetherness is, that's why I'm so passionate by saying January, February, March, April, May. You got to move with intent. Now yeah. I tend to put everybody in bigger rooms outside of Vibe Street. I mean, I appreciate Vibe Street, but again, we got to project. And then once we do that, we get to bring them back to Vibe Street. Like, yeah, yo, and Eats and Shaq, they're going to be in here one day. And that's because of you and your man jumped on that live. Straight that's up. True. So, yeah, man. Also, we uh trying to get that merch together very soon, very yeah, soon. Very yeah, soon, just keep man. waiting. It's on the way. It's on the way. Keep patient. So that's what it looked like, man. I got. I know a lot of people. You know what I'm saying. So now it's just time for me to utilize those resources, and we finna get to work. Yeah. Man. Southwest yeah. finna fuck with you heavy, bro. Yeah, I'm with it. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I you I, heavy. Got the membership and everything. And this is exactly why, because I've been looking for people to do the interview for like four or five months, but it just didn't make sense. Like I know. Shout out to my boy Steve Pay from St. Louis, man. Um, he's from Atlanta, but why would I? And not not to take nothing away from my man, cause I, I love him dearly. But I wanted somebody from Birmingham or from Alabama mm-hmm. to do the interviews, opposed to me having an outside source do it. Not saying that he is not my man. Yeah, you but when it comes to the campaign moving forward, I would want somebody to be at home. I can pull up thirty minutes. You can pull up on me, and we can continue to build, opposed to me just coming to do an interview on y'all podcast, and that be that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man. New Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? My home girl, Bernie Banks and Millie Rock on any block. I was going to get them to do the interview, but I was like, ah, I wanted to be like some at home. Homegrown. And now here we are, four brothers. You know what I'm saying? Good young men. We finna go crazy. So that's kind of. You still can do that, too. Yeah, no, I am. I just got other work for them. Like when I do events in Atlanta, I would go to them. You doing like pop ups? Everything. Like I got some concerts. So you familiar with the uh, the cat that made God is Dope? Are you familiar with God is Dope? I was gonna wear that hoodie today, but he got plenty of it. All right. So I met the owner of that, Rashad Sherrod. Uh, I want to his name is Sherrod. So I met him with Steel Paid. Like, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't have been in that building. Great. So shout out to my man Steel Paid. You know what I'm saying? He a DJ over at Hip Hop Fraternity with Pimpin' Ken in Atlanta. He going crazy. So y'all shout out to my dog. Uh, he got a podcast, too, called Wifeable Podcast. I think y'all would actually love that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all would be like the key and peel with podcasts if y'all combined, man. Like... Super dope. And I put y'all on, but um, just stuff like that, man. DTL Radio, my man Phantom got the juice in D.C. Hence is the why I said I was going to D.C. March 31st. Like, I'm connected. It's just I can't really do nothing if Alabama, we weren't together here in Alabama. Shout out to Big Twin, Euphoria. He was the one that gave me a lot of help once, you know, when I got back out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Alibon Hemp's on the east side. Shout out to Alibon if y'all need some products. Make sure y'all go say what's up. So, Everybody who held me down and gave me some game and then spit on me from 17 to now, you know, them the people who I'm taking with me, straight up. So like it, it, it's a few more in the city. We ain't going to get to my man, um, um, Bree, you know what I mean, um, King Cuts, um, 205, you know what I mean? So, he better be a barber. He a barber. Yeah, he a barber. He, 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 he nice. Be a barber. He nice. He nice. <laughs> he nice. He's like, please he be nice. a barber. He nice. But now, even, even doing this, I used to sleep on his sofa. To not drive back to Alabaster if I knew I had to be back up here that night. 
So had it not been for my man, you know what I'm saying, let me sleep on this couch in this barbershop to help push what I got going on. Like, who's to say I would have did more or less without his help? Not even saying that he was giving me money or he was putting me on, put me in rooms. He just gave me an opportunity to catch my breath. He, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He set a screen for the young guy. So it's just stuff like that that I appreciate. You know, back then, moving forward, you look back and you're like, man, these cats was really out here looking out for me. You let me to a club for free. Or if you gave me a free meal or, you know what I'm saying, you shot me a DM with, you know, a specific brand or whatnot, man. Like, I kept a, a photographic memory of all of that. So everybody from 17 to now, you know what I mean, if you gave me a lily pad to get to this point to now, Hey man, I wholeheartedly thank you. For sure. For sure. I felt that for sure. So when do you ever rest? And like, yeah, work, work, man. You don't? Yeah, yeah, I sleep, man. <laughs> sleep is essential, man. You gotta sleep. Yeah. But um, I sleep while everybody working. You know what I mean? If I know you gotta go to work four or five days out the week, I know your I know your pattern. I know your schedule. You are gonna be in the bed by eleven or ten, depending on what you do. You gonna have to go sit in traffic for an hour and a half in the morning. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, <laughs> you work here. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so let's just say you live in Birmingham. You still gotta go to work. You get off. You gotta regroup. You might hit your happy hour. Mm-hmm. That Lord, you might have a girl or kids or coach. By the time you get home, you get started on what you have to get started on. It's eight or nine o'clock. You sleep. Tough. Now I'm working while you at work and while you sleep because I I know I have to wake up at four or five in the morning. Mm-hmm. I get to sleep to eight or nine in the morning. You feel me? I get to sleep all work all day, all night, get, go home at three or four in the morning, sleep four, five hours, three, four, five hours, and then I'm back to it. So yeah, I sleep when I catch a nap. Prime example, when my man's cat jack drove from Monte Valley to Atlanta, I was in the back sleep. Mm-hmm. I don't blame him. Woke up, got to work, you know what I'm saying? On the drive back, got clapped, went to sleep, and now, you know what I'm saying? I'm well rested, two, three hours of good sleep. Instead of me going to sleep, I'm going to stay up from 10, 11 at night to 2, 3, 4 in the morning, looking up interviews, looking up research, figuring out how I need to fly through Heathrow when I get to the UK, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Looking up hotels. It's something that always can be done. Again, you got to have that vision. So you got to know where you're going. Like it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, matter of fact. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like you uh went through that COVID book. Like, page to page. I ain't gonna read it. My, my, my mentality. I ain't gonna read it. It sound like, yo, it sound like for real. I need to read it, bro. Shit, fine. I need to read it. It's just simple. Like, like, that for real, just like, easy to read. Yeah. You read that, you, I say, you probably read that book, like, probably, like, an hour, probably. That shit, right. that shit just I'm gonna check it out. Now that y'all said yeah. something about it, man, I might leave here and go get it. I'm, I might go. I might go read it again when I get back home. And you say it, so. What's up, bro? That's a dope book, man. I appreciate any book with pictures. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, known as like some childish shit, but it's like man, I need that shit. I like a good imagery. It. Like sometimes my image may not be the image that you intended, so it's like it yeah. help me follow along more. Uh, I wish the Bible had that, pictures and nothing. I, I need that shit. Children, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bad to go back down to that. That name in the Bible, uh, <laughs> uh, chat was so wrong. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Yeah, bro. Hey, shit. That's what it is. At least you try. Hell yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. For sure. But I appreciate you telling me about that book, though. For sure, man. Yeah, yeah. And also, pictures how I got through uh, Spanish in middle school, man. <laughs> like, right. Pictures were down to every other word in that book. Oh, yeah. Oh, this shit's light, boy. <laughs> but yeah, man. She told. Uh, so. I'm pretty sure you like doing all this yourself. So, what's the funding like? Like, how much effort is that taking funding wise? Oh, uh, like PPP loan or something like that? Nah, yeah. so, <laughs> you yeah, I'm, I'm sick. I missed. You should have got that shit. Right, so, <laughs> yeah. um, I get disabilities from the military. Oh yeah, yeah that, that helps. That helps. I, I love that shit. Ooh. We got an increase too. You see, yeah. everybody yeah. increase. <laughs> <laughs> eight point seven percent. So that 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 helped me way more than anybody else. Now I mean, it, it's not funding the project, but it's at least keeping my head above water. Yeah, help for real. Yeah, nah, it's it's the funding. You know what I'm saying? Because I I don't want to, I'm like, I didn't want to get to reaching out and getting started, getting too many loans and doing X, Y, Z until mm-hmm. I had a for sure, like, this is what I need. Mm-hmm. I don't want to submit for something to ask for stuff that I don't need. Yeah. So I'm, I was patient when it came to that. Live way below my means. Smoke. You know what I mean? So now I know if I can do it at this amount, um, if I can do this with this amount, then I know if I was to double or triple anything that I had before I got this point 
it's just gonna be a bonus because I've been doing it with less, so now I get to do a whole lot more with just a little bit more. I don't need all of the money to do everything. I just need enough money to get me to what I need to do to make what I want to make, what I consider what money is to be. Mm -hmm. So That's I'm right. not looking at somebody else get a $20,000 loan for something they got going on because I don't... That's not my plan. It might look like 20 for this, but it could be five going to this, five going to this, and five going to that. Now, I didn't want to start reaching out doing that. And then, too, I need to get my credit together. Let's just keep it a bow wow. I didn't know what how to pay taxes. when I got my LLC, but nobody knows it, but I got it so I can go ahead and start figuring out how I can pay people and what tax forms that I need mm -hmm. for certain benefits because I'm a veteran in XYZ. I had to learn that stuff. You went to uh, about a you know, and I don't have people be like, hey, show me what's up with these taxes without them saying, all right, give me X, Y, Z, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. But if I can sit down and it would take me a year and a half to learn something that you probably going to half-ass teach me in a month or three months just because you want my money, I feel like I won because now I can just teach you, you, and you the same thing that it took me a year and a half, two years to learn without charging y'all nothing just because I simply y'all asked me and I just want to be the plug. Like, here you go. Like, yeah, I'll just take that and get it to somebody people. else. Yeah, we need more people. Man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. Dame Dash, bro. Like, if it weren't for... He's one of the top two, if not the most person that I... Was, him, Ross, Nipsey, um, Wallow again. Uh, a lot of people. Currency, Wiz. You know what I mean? Mitchie Slick, G Perico. Like, a lot of these cats, you know, once you peel the layer back from whether they do music or podcasts or, or make beats, like, a lot of these guys are business-minded to where a lot of people are not thinking to think like they would. So it's basically just follow the trail that they already set out, but it's up to you to go get the information. And nobody, because don't, don't, nobody owes you anything. Okay. So I just really wanted to wait before I just got to asking for money and people wanted to pouring to me. Now I got something tangible I can show them and I got an idea and business plan. Angela Yee too. Shout out to Angela Yee. I listen to her a lot. Um, her right. interview that she did with EYL will be essential for y'all to watch as well. But, um, um, lip service? No, nah, EYL, Earn Your Leisure. Mm -hmm. Two cats that teach about um, taxes and credit and all of that. Investments and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take it. Yeah, earn your leisure. Don't tell them, but saving a lot of shit to do, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I listen to a lot of people, and, you know, that's the time where people not calling me because I know they're at home or they're at work or, you know, they're with their kids or their wives. That's time for me to do my research and my yeah. own work. So, yeah, I'm, like, I'm super, super ready now, bro. Like, I I can't explain to y'all how ready I am. So, like, now I know what to ask for, how much partnerships. I know what grants to go look for. I know I got a grant writer. I got lawyers to look over some stuff. Now I just gotta put the team together and go ballistic. So yeah, bro. I like yeah, we can go crazy. In fact, I love what you said. Uh, expect the revenue is. I'm a business guy myself. I, I, I like really as far appreciate as numbers. Like as far as like sales, I know you probably not in it for sales, but like overall book sales, movie sales, like big picture, maybe like five years. You can say that your book. The script, your movies got you how much? A billion. You said five? Five years. Five years. Cause you sound like you like read it. Like it sounds like you got in the Now we're talking about audience. investments and No no no. And no, no strictly no, no, no. just books, movies. Strictly series. ideas, I guess. Billy. All right, Boosie made a million dollars first day off of his movie. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have the platform or the star power that he has, but I know over time if he can make a million dollars in a day, I know for a damn show, I can make a million dollars in a year. Mm -hmm. So, shit, five mil. I want a mil a year. 100,000, 200,000 to shoot the movie. Shit, if I make a mil off that, 100% profit, once you get back to 200,000 that you put up to shoot the movie, if you up a mil, you 800. I got 10 of those, but let's just say I do one a year. So if I walk away a mil plus every time I drop a movie or a book, psh, Great. Living life. Insane, and I got five more behind that. So that's just the that's just the minimum. I don't see why I, in five years I'm not five five mil plus. Easy, easy. And what's the? Uh, I don't really know how like funding for a movie goes. So like, what what would like a hundred thousand go into? I assume you got to pay the actors, 
You need a director? Are you going to direct? Yeah, you'll be surprised. Now, <clears throat> some, now I got the idea that it would be 100000 um, from Pastor Troy. He did an interview mm-hmm. with the Breakfast Club. He said he shot his movie $50,000, 60000 mm-hmm. And then a few directors that had read the book said that they can do it for under 70000 I'm only saying 100000 for um, for stuff that I don't know that might exist just to yeah. give myself that just extra. Just a little buffer. Right. Now, then, I also know that if I can make 100000 I know I can make two to three hundred thousand simply because I was in the military, so I can get a hundred thousand from the VA or from people who just support veterans, and then I'm a member of Cap Alpha Psi, so I can go to the D9 Award or just every Kappa chapter in the world to give me two, three dollars. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when I shoot the movie, I say a hundred thousand, but realistically, it could be anywhere from two hundred fifty to three hundred when I start. So I don't know. Um, what that might go to hair, makeup, food, gas, money, okay. paying actors, paying a, 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 a movie company, a film company, whatever they asking for, um, voiceovers, um, uh, promotion, you know what I mean, um, wardrobe. So I, you got to look into all of that. But then again, you can trim that fat because let's say Car can not want to charge me. Uh, five thousand to you do their clothes, but y'all two got a clothing line, and y'all was just like, well, what we would pay your advertising, you would do that if we just put three t-shirts in your movie. So whatever you need, we can write that off, give it to you, and you still gonna pay us because we still gonna be getting sales. So when you saying somebody saying give me ten thousand, you might be saying give me an opportunity, and then from your opportunity, not only have I still gave you money. But mm-hmm. you've now then made money to invest back into your marketing and your advertising. So why would I go to Car and Nile when I can go to two of my partners and and, and put, not only put them on but get them more money? You feel me? And you know, not saying that it could work in you know that not big, like yeah. that, but just in the realm of how I'm looking. I know somebody that make water. Why would I go? to the Sunny or Nestle to get <laughs> water when I can go to my man and be like, yo, let me get your water. What 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 do you pay for marketing and advertising? All right, give me a quarter that a half that and give me the water. We're gonna give you a shout out in the movie. So when they go to a coffee company, the water that they get is gonna be your movie. Now, your marketing advertising that you would put on uh, CBS, you just gave it to your man for a movie, but now we in London, we in Africa, we in Sweden, we in Canada. And your 2000 just went global. Come on. Yeah. So not only did you put money in my pocket, you put money in your own pocket. So that's why I'm more so at with it. So instead of it being 10000 it might be a 2000 or a 3000 or 4000 mm-hmm. And then you get that back 10 times opposed to Nestle not getting nothing back off of that 10 or I'm not getting anything off of my 10. Okay. So, yeah, bro, that's just how I'm going to work all that. I know people that do hair and makeup. Of course. How much would you charge me? That's what a real bad guy. Yeah, man. that's what I'm saying. I'll get some hair and makeup, make some wigs, boy. I, I'll quit my job today. Exactly. Don't, don't, so, don't, maybe just go independently her. shot and independently I'll put my own bread up. Shit, I'm going to put out a budget and somebody give me a number either below that or exactly what I want. I got the job. You know what I'm saying? Negotiate budgets. Absolutely. Okay. You got to. I was like, please say yes. Yeah, you got to. And then I'm going to have somebody else doing that as well. Mm. So they come to me and say, all right, well, they want X, Y, Z, but we can do it for X, Y, Z. At that point, I would just sign off on it. If I know I got auditions over here, I got to... Mm. Go look at this man's clothes, and we got to do scout locations, and we got to listen to music. Sometimes you pay for convenience. Absolutely. For sure. So I'm the same way LeBron put Rich Paul in position, I'm going to put one of my homies in position. If I know you're a good people's person, you articulate your words, you dress well, you smell nice, your hands clean, hey, you come discuss some of this money. Yeah, they do. So you get a yeah. check by having all of us get a check. So, hey, bro, opportunities. I like it. Opportunities. I love it, man. If, yeah, if, man. If, if at any point you want to write a podcast into any uh, book. Now, I got some work for you. Like, look, we'll so in. check it out. Let me see up on this one. <laughs> we'll pull up in that bitch so, straight merch, boy. I want to be completely <laughs> honest, man. This is the foundation for everything that I'm finna do. This is not the coup de grace. This is not the end all be all. This is, 
You know how when you hit a bully just to get their attention and you run away? Mm. This is how I'm finna do with America, bro. <laughs> right. Hit that so now it's Teddy is, um, the Indian go over the hill, the cowboy mm-hmm. get the arrow, come back, and when they chase him over that hill, they finna have a whole my army finna be waiting on them. You know what I'm saying? I'm just the one to go, I'm just the Indian to go over the mountain to be like, this is where we need to be at. So yeah, bro, we finna load up. Restaurants, podcasts. Oh God, bro! My, the Monopoly boy finna open, and it's not. Oh, I missed the Monopoly, bro. It's gonna be. Oh, Mr. Monopoly. You got the thimble, don't you? You got the bro. Thimble. <laughs> the hat. We finna go crazy, bro. Like, we finna go crazy. So again, anybody that sees this or hears this, whatever you want to do, if you do advertisement, if you good with lights, if you do sound, you don't necessarily have to be on camera. You can be behind the camera, get the job done, be a part of a team, get just as much money. But you know what I'm saying? Had just as much as responsibility, so it's more than one way to get some money out here. And I don't have to have all of the money, I just want and need what I need. It's a lot of niggas that want all the money. I don't want all the money, I just need enough to get me to where I need to be at. And then, however, I can help somebody else get to whatever amount that they want, then I'm all for it. You know what I mean? Show money, use yeah, it when you need it. To <laughs> <laughs> let's just say, I heard somebody say this. Um, I, th- I think it was, um, damn. Uh, anyway, uh, the cat that was in you know, on Boys in the Hood, he was on Big Facts podcast. Uh, Jody Breeze. He was scared that he played. He was scared that he played. Nah, he was a uh, he was an artist with uh, them boys. Got um um uh, Boys in the Hood. He was signed to Bad Boy South with Jeezy and. Anyway, he was on the yeah. podcast and he said, "Because you got more money, don't mean that I'm not doing what I'm doing." Mm-hmm. So you can have five million, but that don't mean that I ain't doing everything I want to do with my two hundred and fifty thousand. Right. And that's what people gotta. When he said that, it hit home, and I watched that one one minute clip for about fifteen minutes straight, just so people can like really understand that. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I may only want two hundred and fifty thousand. You might want twenty five million, but that don't mean that I can't get done what I want to get done with the amount of money that I want to get, mm-hmm. opposed to you doing what you need. So everybody don't have to have twenty five million. Everybody might not want twenty five million. You know what I'm saying? So once people understand that concept, to I don't need everything that you need to do everything that I need to do. I think people will be more reluctant to work together because they just like he concerned with his plate, let me mm-hmm. be concerned with my plate. It be so many people concerned with what's on eat. somebody else's plate. You can't even concern with what's on yours. Still gonna eat. Everybody Still gonna eat. eat. Everybody you know what I'm saying? Eat. So it's just like that's that's oh, that's man. where I am, man. That's the yeah, order. Sure. That's the energy that I want to get off. That's the um. That's the agenda that I want to push. That togetherness. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, bro. Um, um, anything you probably think about thinking that I want to do, I already want to do it. So let's get it. For sure. Straight up. Straight up. Off of 25 mil, I love that number. That's a very beautiful number. I ain't so, mad at that. Hey, just, just, to, just to get an idea of how different 25 mil can be spent, let's go around and talk about it, man. How you spend 25 mil? Shit. Uh, let me see. Start some uh, big adventures. Like I said, I want to get my own uh, facility to train mm-hmm. athletes and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, help my, help, help my folks them out for the most. You gotta do that oh, first. Wait, wait. How many of your, how my immediate, my immediate yeah. family? Okay, now, my mama. Got twenty five mil now. Yeah. yeah. They don't he know how much money I got. I ain't gonna tell him. No, I ain't gonna tell. I ain't, I ain't telling nobody. But somebody I mean, fuck around, drop an article. I'm like, damn, Nick stand just hell. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm staying that way. I'm staying that way. I'm staying that way. Trying to be like Mr. Krabs. See, I'm saying. I got this. Not obligated to give nobody a thing. If I paid your light bill, nigga, be grateful. I'm saying if it's a hundred, <laughs> hey, nah, that's, that's a come up. Three hundred. That's a come up. Hey, that's one month free, nigga. That's three hundred in your pocket. Immediate Yo, family. You show Mama, up. sister. Immediate family. Desi. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And get back to the church where I, where I grew up in or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Help, help build the church back up. Yeah, and my old neighborhood, help the park. Wild. 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 For real? Yeah. yeah I had that turn out. <laughs> she, was, nah, she was cool. Yeah. She was cool. I was young. I been mature. She from Birmingham. I'm from Alabaster. Bro, she had me beat. Mature wise, she had me beat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She just knew, she just knew too much. And, or, or I didn't know enough. 
So I, I just wasn't ready for that type of Pratt City. I used to date to my guy, Pratt City. Hey, East Lake, you know what I'm saying? So Birmingham really turned me up. I ain't gonna lie. Like, a, a lot of the mechanics and mannerisms that I have is because of Birmingham from the east to the north to the west. So Birmingham would forever hold a special place in my heart, man. So hey. shout out to Shorty from Wilder, man. <laughs> yes, you know sir. Shout out Wilder, man. <laughs> shout out Wilder. Shout, shout out my uh, kindergarten teacher, Miss Sorensen. Second grade teacher, Miss No, first grade, Miss yeah. Johnson. I like Wilder. Second grade, Miss Eddie. Johnson, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I swear everybody got Miss Johnson. That's the West Side, man. Wild, mm-hmm. that's the West Side. It is. So I don't got. I'm into it, bro. I got a, a, a couple of kids that I'm kind of like, you know, they, you know, a little mentor yeah. to them. We went to high school. You went to Thompson. I went to Thompson. Ah, yeah, yeah, bro. Like <laughs> I used to, I used to be in Birmingham City Schools, bro. We like, used to envy Hoover and Thompson. We used to envy them. I mean, now Hoover was different from Thompson. Now we caught up, but Hoover oh, I know. back then, <laughs> was, yeah, but nah, bro. Like I didn't know about the classic to. Exactly. Huh? Exactly. High school you fraternities ain't shit, and just bro. you ain't miss nothing. But nah, it's just uh, again that that edge that Birmingham City, you know, like inner city kids, hey, y'all yeah. y'all definitely had the advantage of a cat who grew up. If they had like a big brother or like an uncle who was the man to like teach them certain mannerisms and values. It's somebody in the hood that got you. You can take the weakest. Not saying that they weak, but you can take the most quietest, weakest. A uh, mild, reserved kid from the city, and he'd be like one of them honchos in a country city, like a Khalil or, or a Jemison or a Maplesville. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And then, too, if you was in that, and then you was at the bottom of that totem pole, like I was, super geeky, not cool, you know what I'm saying? Had no swag, immature, childish. Like you can, you could tell. You know what I'm saying? So anytime I got around people from Al- from Birmingham, like I shut up and took notes, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. straight up. So I'm just watching. I'm, I'm just watching. Y'all got, got, like a, <laughs> y'all got a, different, <laughs> a different moxie than you know what I'm saying. The rest of Alabama. I'm not saying everybody you know got flavor. Yeah, but he's a corn ball out here. Yeah, but yeah. Birmingham for the most part is kind of like Birmingham and that gum. Bro. Yeah, but the gum Huntsville, Mobile, Tuscaloosa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro. Oh, no. What you gonna do with twenty five million? What you gonna do with twenty five million more? Uh, most people do not believe I'm a very charitable nigga. So like, after I made my initial investments, like you said, the media family and everybody that helped me like on the way up, yeah, yeah, they yeah, straight yeah, forever. Uh, but I'm probably just gonna get like a little homeless shelter, but like a way to like rehabilitate them, cause you know I feel like homeless uh, people like they get their identity and it's over with for them. So I feel like even if you clean them up. They might not, might not even have the confidence to go get a job, you gotta keep a job. It. So it's like, ah, like get a homeless shelter. Please don't take my idea, bro. I promise you, this, this shit gets. If I was you, I wouldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it, bro. But get a homeless shelter with like homeless people working in it. Like, so like all the money, like it just keeps circulating in the community. And then, I mean, mm-hmm. it ain't gotta be the homeless community. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a rehabilitation. It's like center. a needy. I said yeah. something like that. I, 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 I had a thought like that in my mind at first. Like that. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Love. Most of them are going to charity and research, though. Yeah. Not no bullshit research, though. Yeah, like, pull I don't back, have to, get pulled back into your people. I gotta spend time with you. I gotta see what you're researching, because as y'all know, Black Lives Matter. I ain't even know that was a movement. <laughs> I, ain't, I thought it was just a movement. I ain't know it was like a, something you can Dang. donate to, but they they fucked up all that money. Yeah, like, everybody. What they do with the money? Just fucking off. Like, then somebody white running. White people are, yeah. Yeah. So it's like that damn Brett Favre situation. He getting pretty much. Oh, shit. They, much. But look how they did it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they put the whole Black Lives Matter. Like, I, don't know. I have my opinion about it. I'm not going to speak about it on this podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But You got to start monetizing pain, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Monetizing pain and trauma. You just got to stop that shit. They're trying to stop they're monetizing trying to hold you up. Hmm? Why are you trying to cut me up? I ain't chillin' out. <laughs> <laughs> Not baby mama trauma. <laughs> what you gonna do with it, though? See, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna fuck up a few. Well, probably about a million or two. Oh, no, don't get it fucked up. Like, I could grant I was. I said all the good shit. I thought the fucking yeah. up was I'm, obvious. I'm yeah. different. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm getting three Mustangs off gate. <laughs> and two of them wow. bitches, I'm sending to the auto shop. And I'm gonna suit them bitches up. Goddamn. One, them. two. Two of them I'm gonna send to the auto shop to suit them up so I can just drive one. Okay. You feel me? So they're gonna come out on some fast and fierce type shit. <laughs> he ain't gonna never see no, no goddamn Mustangs well, like you that. Wrong, you feel me? <laughs> Custom made, goddamn. But with that, with the rest of that, majority of that shit, 
I'm going to build the studio, like a little movie studio, and then I'm going to get in, get real deep into that investing and shit, trying to try and flip that shit, oh, invest man. 10 and try and flip it in 20, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and go from there, goddamn. Cause my old, I want to own a team down the line. Fuck that. I don't give a fuck if it's sixty or seventy. I'm, I might, have, I might need by. Y'all have to be Jerry Jones. <laughs> Ten billion, cause the prices just keep going up and up. Goddamn, you used to need like fifty million to buy a team. Now what? Uh, somebody just sold one for like four bill, three bill. You're not getting the Cowboys. Yeah, that yeah. shit crazy. Yeah, you better get like a Birmingham like Stallions or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would. I don't mind. I, I, I ain't gonna hold you. Especially with the projected stadium. Yeah. yeah. Or get a team and just be the majority owner. Yeah. Some yeah. shit like that, but I'm out. I like the Dame Dash League that he got going on. Whatever. You know, he got an oh, arena football league. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Dame Dash, bro, see? Ain't this is why black men need to talk more often, bro. That damn damn damn. Because this right. information like that. that you didn't know that mm-hmm. we could all know. This podcast is essential. Barbershops are essential. Us just it getting is. together more often is essential. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Everything that you want to do, I guarantee you, it might be somebody that you haven't talked to that want to do the same thing. Y'all yeah. can turn that 25 to 125 each. No cap. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. I love it, matter of fact. Yeah, but look that up. The Dame Dash Arena football team. Bro. Say, say look. I'm yeah, on. Being a good investment, bro. Up. You just told my coaching, too. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be a coach so bad. I don't care if it's one year and I'm just trash. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do this. <laughs> head coach, so you just, like, you're just trying to get out. I, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do head coach. What age group? Uh, I'm um, in middle school right now. I get in wherever I can fit in. If I gotta start with. If I gotta cut my teeth with Pee Wee, I do that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like you can learn something from each level. You can. You know what I'm saying? You move yeah. up. Patience Especially too. patience. Yeah. You know, yeah. learn the patience yeah. with Pee Wee. Yeah. You gotta have it. Yeah. Hey, so. market, market yourself, man. What what can you provide to any football team? Let them know, man. I give a fuck. And I get I got intensity. You see it? You feel yeah. me? A nigga is very intense, but it's it come from a good place. And then like I feel like I know how to talk to people. So like. I can kick you in the ass to motivate you, but necessarily you, you don't respond to that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? So I got to come at you differently. So I feel like I'm real good at that shit. So I'll I be, I be a good-ass coach. I'm on. And then you want to be a trainer. He's going to be a trainer. I am a trainer. I am a trainer. Yeah. So he, <laughs> oh, yeah. He can train I am a trainer. Yeah, my yeah, I'm on. I'm my on. fitness <laughs> Instagram page is <laughs> underscore <laughs> Jack Fitness. We can take that 25 minutes. <laughs> 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 he can train your kids. He can interview them. For sure. He can give them media training. Yeah, yeah. I know how to. Everybody eats beef. Everybody eats. You know I'm, I'm hungry right now. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Jay. Look where I came from. I'm on. Bro, and I already got a play style. There we go. What's the people? Run the gun. You gonna we're gonna we're gonna, run that, we're gonna run that bitch, and then we're gonna hit him <laughs> play with action the play action. action. I love it. I love you it. feel me? Nah, no. that's my that, that, that's the my old play style. That old school football. Now the Cardinals just fired their coach, bro. How would you help them Cardinals right now? With Kyle, no, no, with no, Kyle, no. yeah, he hurt. No, 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 Hey, shit. <laughs> that nigga Russell ain't looking too good. They looking like them niggas got fleeced. So you gonna send, you gonna send them out? <laughs> we you can't send them out. You, know you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't send them out. You can't send them out. Two hundred fifty million. I guess shit. What I would guess you say to Russ right now. Yeah, I guess you just gotta collab with him and see. Hey man, you was ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what what can <laughs> no. we do to get you more comfortable to get your confidence back up? You feel me? Because I feel like he he a Super Bowl champion. His probably confidence just fucked right now. You feel me? He nervous. He been in Seattle his whole career. Now you're in a new uh, arena. Goddamn, yeah, new expectations. Did he play against Seattle? Yeah, that fucking game. It was the first game. game. Yeah, that was, and that was the first okay, game. Okay, that was the first game, yeah. Did they ever? Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure they did. Okay, well, I, I understand sure. that. Yeah. Just trying to get that nigga confidence. He fucked that whole season up, though. <laughs> I, I, I expected, like, uh, at least, like, 50%. I ain't know he's gonna fuck up. It's certain shit that he doing that is just matter of fact. The defense is straight. I'm, I'm more I'm offense. more so upset because I have Amazon Prime and this nigga done had like three. He done yeah, had yeah, three yeah. weeks of it and I'm just sick of seeing Somewhere that shit. Three, it is horrible right? football. Yeah, that nigga yes. has been waiting to be it. Like I'm like, bro, get the <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. Then last night I had to watch um damn near a field goal. Um, not last night. Um, uh, Thursday. I think it was Tampa and uh, I don't was know. The Cardinals. That was yes. yesterday. That was yesterday. That was yesterday. Well, I fucking watched the goddamn field all along for the longest until, like, uh, last, not last second, but, like, 
Uh, second half, um, f- uh, f- damn, touchdown. Damn, I'm blank. I'm blank on shit. You all right, man? Nah. <laughs> you, been drinking, you been drinking this evening? Didn't, the didn't they go to so, OT, too? So yes. Yeah, no, they ain't with I'm, the backup. I'm sick of <laughs> Tom Brady just went to OT with a backup, bro. We seen shit we ain't never seen, so it's like, bro, at this point, I guess everybody need, a, need some good motivation. I don't I, I know what he going to do, but we don't know what Russell Wilson going to do at this point because that motherfucker, that boy. It's Sierra, that's what it is. I ain't blame Future, man. No, I'm blaming it. I'm saying I'm still smashing on C, and that boy, that boy ain't throwing a touchdown since. They can't throw a touchdown since, bro. And then hit like this. Like, damn, nigga, nigga saying the video was sick. Let's ride. Nah, nigga. you can park. <laughs> sick of this shit, bro. Let's ride. This nigga Shannon hop on undisputed after every air, bro. And he don't want to talk about it no more. <laughs> Niggas fed up, bro. No, I'm on the defense, but the, the, the that, defense is done. They got the Super Bowl defense, and everybody thought that was it. That boy ain't been doing shit. <laughs> hey, but I understand, man. Everybody go through a little song. A little song. And also, I appreciate how you talked about all the adversity going through this uh this launch, this release, this thought process, the building. Oh, for sure. We had adversity. Yeah. He has a YouTube channel. Had sure. adversity. My boy quit the post office. He called it the worst word when he quit. Oh, no, family was tearing me up, boy. They were tearing me up. You gonna quit a high pen, John? I don't know if you gonna quit that shit. See, people see that and lose yeah. all goddamn sense like, of I'm not, I'm not happy right yeah. now. Yeah. They want you to be safe. Yeah, that like, shit is safe. Yeah, yeah. Like, no I'm more. Safe, I'm working damn twelve hours a day. I ain't. I'm just twenty two. I ain't got no social life. I ain't seeing no women. I ain't. Got nah, you ain't nothing. missing. You ain't missing nothing. Like, yeah, I know. No, I. No, I, I get what you At the saying, time, though. at the yeah, time, yeah, I was twenty two. Like I ain't doing. No, yeah. I was. I was just twenty one. You ain't getting to see what you. Was I was twenty twenty one yeah, at the bro, time. I promise so. you ain't even. No, I, I know. I you get that but, passport. You're not gonna even want to talk to American women no more. I mean, you will. Our yeah. sisters, we fine, but like. <laughs> yes, sir. Save him, save him. Nah, I'm just being <laughs> no, real, bro. Shit, like, yeah, horse story, say it. Bro, it's different, bro. Like, you, your standards going, you're not going to. Bro, I don't even argue with. I, don't, I never you really argue to. with. You ain't got to. You with, just say American women. Nah, no, I'm going to say, because that shit going to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, nah, I love my sisters. Like, uh, I. I Sisters all day, Sisters. wholeheartedly. However, it's just some stuff that you gonna deal with. You not even to talk about. Like I gotta go to Greece, bro. I gotta go to France. Going. I'm going. I'm going to Canada. Yeah, I need to go to Italy. I need to go. You just we you know see you. stuff different. <laughs> like, like, it just changed the way you think. <laughs> mm-hmm. Trust me, bro. Like, yeah. No, you can blindly reach out and grab in the best thing available anywhere in America as long as you got your shit together. You that nigga. Yeah. You okay. won't lose. So I would much rather you focus two, three years on oh, getting your damn. life in order and then have that type of fun and have that type of live. fun. And you 38, 35, 40, and you still fit. Not saying nothing wrong with that's, that's 35, 40. That's another thing with us, bro. We, we start early, like, bro. We keep feeling like 30 is old, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was not, that nigga for a minute, bro. I have been feeling like 30 was just like, it's not, yeah, I ain't shit about 30. It ain't have, I, I finally had to chill out, bro. I was yeah. like, nigga, relax. Yeah, There's a lot of niggas who ain't pop out today in their 40s and 50s. 40s and 50s. Exactly. Yeah. Shit, for, for, real, real. for real, for real. Snake Warren real. Buffett didn't get right until he was all 50, 60. So I was like, damn. Well, it, they be talking shit about rappers who be... They be talking shit they, about rappers who uh forty like the boy T the boy with two chains. I don't know why I call him T the boy. Yeah, it's okay. but two, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just one lane. You, you feel me? Yeah. It ain't like it ain't like you an athlete when you are right. an athlete. Yeah. They got an age little rapper. You you can yeah. rap till you seven together. Yeah. Yeah. You sit down and rap if you want to. Listen to it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I got I got a partner right now. Shout out to Miss Sherry in San Diego. She's sixty two years old, bro. She got a weed song. Oh, going okay. crazy. She's 62, bro. It might be 64, Miss Sherry from San Diego. Going it's crazy, crazy, bro. Somebody, and people listening. Yeah, yeah. Bro, as long as you got a voice, artist. Everybody bro, got an Andrew Warhol said it best. Artists, whatever you get away with. So if you 59, 60 years old, it's going to be an audience of 59 and 60 years old that's going to listen to your black ass rap. If Lil B made <laughs> you know what it, I'm saying? y'all can make it. That that's is what true. I'm saying, Lil bro. B, man. Age is that shit. Swag, swag, swag like Caillou. Yeah, bro. Look at all. Stephon Marbury went overseas to China. 
when the NBA said he was done. Like look what he went over did there. Look, over there. Look, look what Dwight Howard doing right now. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. What the hell? Nigga, this world, this shit is endless, bro. Like, don't fall to society, overseas. society's notion and feel like yeah. you're missing something or you gotta yeah. do something mm-hmm. about 23 or 30 yeah. or that. Fuck all that. That shit on your heart to do when you got had your body to do it. Whether you're 16 or 68, you do that shit straight up. Straight up. Up, I be trying to get shit out of the way, man. I be like, you know what? Wow. Eventually, I gotta settle down with this family. I can't you take them here. You ain't got to, man. You ain't got to do that. I'll be a hoe out here, man. It's a whore story. I got to be my legacy. I need somebody to take the info. We hold it, man. Hey, hold it. He man, man woman hater. Hey, hey. <laughs> man, little Rascal said it. <laughs> nah, we keep that shit. In. He man, woman hater. <laughs> yeah, that's Big Jack. That other boy Jack. That's that. That's him. They want to train him. He talk. I'm out duty today. Hey, well, shit. My time has come to a close, man. Do our nice little wrap up session. Everybody, shout out where they can find you. We know we can find you. But say it anyway. Uh, shit, <laughs> go fuck with your boy on YouTube, goddamn baby mama trauma. Uh, fuck with the podcast on YouTube, wisdom and ignorance. We gonna do a rebrand, so I'm gonna change the name soon. Full rebrand coming soon. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, Peter Parker again, Pages of Parker. Find me on Instagram. Um, that's the only uh social media side I have. Keep but the up. website coming, you know, y'all finna see me build from the ground zero to Africa. You know what I'm saying? I got a um I got a tagline once I drop the commercial. Um we kick everything off, man. But the campaign is definitely here, it's on the way. Be on the lookout. Yeah, man. What can we find you? I love hey, you, you see me. Y'all can find me here at Horror Stores 205. You want my personal Instagram, RB underscore DOS. Like I said, that's Snapchat, RB. Oh, it's horse stories. You know what I'm saying? Send your news, man. Not just, I'm just saying, please, hey, I'm sending your news. Send your news to, under, to <laughs> Nick Jack 18 <laughs> on Snapchat. Well, my phone number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah